see the more kids you have uh, the more time you should add to your preparation time what i mean is if you have one kid if you take 30 minutes to get ready to go somewhere uh, try and make it one hour okay if you have two kids make it one hour 30 minutes if you have three kids make it two hours for you to get ready because i woke up by 6 30 a.m i have an appointment for 10 a.m for our six weeks appointment and it is currently 10 a.m on the dot i've not even left my house and trust me it's not like i was wasting time but i was since i woke up i've been doing one thing or the other and still we are late for our appointment it's a good thing that i mean it's a private clinic so i can you know be late but yeah it's actually annoying um yeah yeah it's 10 o'clock yeah so um let me just start going i don't want to rush i don't want to drive fast on the road but yeah um just what go. okay yes 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 all right <laughs> hello guys welcome back to my channel yeah so today is my six weeks appointment or today was my six weeks appointment because i'm actually done with it and yeah we're fine we're both fine he checked me you know checked the baby um um weighed her gave her her six weeks immunization like we did a lot today like just general check you know for me and baby and we are perfectly fine um yeah so i'm excited that everything is fine with both of us so we don't need any you know extra in it <laughs> uh so yeah today is saturday i'm with my kids and i'm taking them to um i'm just taking them out but i'm taking them to get them new sets of tables and chairs sorry uh, Sophia is crying at the back. I'm sure she's they gave her an injection today. So I'm sure so her body's already peppering her as it is. But yeah, we're, we're going there now. Hopefully, I get something that is very, very nice for the both of them. And then I might branch at the market and also branch at a supermarket and branch at a fast food restaurant because I don't I'm not sure we're going to cook this afternoon. But yeah, that's all I have to do for today. Yeah, I'll carry you guys along, hopefully. Yeah, let's go. So we're buying rice and chicken and water. I don't want salad. My own. Jollof. I'm eating jollof. I'm eating jollof with salad. You are you eating salad. Yes. Jollof and salad, but don't put for these children. Mommy. So two plates jollof and salad. Then. Mommy. Uh, Mommy, I want yellow rice. You want fried rice? Yes, I want yellow rice. Is that the one that's fried rice? I want yellow rice. You don't want the red rice. Um, um, okay, general one. I want, I want the red rice. I want the yellow rice. I want the red. Go 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 go. Let's. I want the fried for them. I want the red rice. Um, buy fried for I want them. The red. We are at Chicken Republic now. Amarachi has gone inside to get food, while I'm carrying Sophia, Cora, and Eva at the back doing what I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, so. I just want to talk a little bit more about the six weeks check. Uh, yeah, so they checked her weight, checked her, you know, heart and all that, and she is fine. I also got a scan done just to be sure that my uterus was back to, you know, the regular shape. I think that's what she said, yes. So they did a scan for me. She now asked me, you know, plenty of questions. How are you doing? How are you faring? How are you breastfeeding? You know, stuff like that and then i also got my iud inserted again okay somebody asked me in my last q and a if i was going to get another iud yes i have gotten another iud as of today at least yeah so um i got another iud today and what else what else what else the same is it the same or a different one i don't know i don't know the one i got before yeah i don't know the one i got before so i don't know if i got the same or not but this one i know what i got i got the one for 10 years is the she says the normal copper tea some, something three six hundred one two one thing i should I call this something but i think it's just the regular copper tea that stays for 10 years it is non-hormonal because i told her that i don't want any hormonal anything like i don't want any hormonal anything like i said the last time i had an iud inserted i had issues with it because my period was heavy and stuff like that but why i still went back for an iud is i told myself um the reason why i went back for iud is that worst case scenario if i if it's giving me issues again or if i'm you know bleeding too much if i can't stand it you know i can just go and get it removed but i think i'll rather deal with 
no let me talk finish talking okay okay yeah so actually i think i'll rather deal with period issues than deal with hormonal issues okay so if it's that my period becomes heavier again and i'll just deal with it my dear like i, I cannot come and kill myself <laughs> i'll deal with it i'll rather deal with that than deal with hormonal issues or get pregnant again so so yeah getting the iod inserted was not painful it was uncomfortable i mean they inserted something to your body so it's uncomfortable it's yeah it's yeah if you are someone that is squeamish and if you're thinking about what is going on down there you're not going to find it funny but it's not painful at all you know once you breathe through it you're just going to be fine uh yeah and it's, it takes it it's very it's it's very fast to insert the it started very quickly so in less than five minutes you already have the whole procedure done uh so yeah if you are considering getting an iud um don't be scared okay cannot some women have been scared of getting an iud don't be scared it is not it's a painless procedure and it actually saves you a lot of headache a lot of headache like i don't want to do i've not gotten my period yet uh because i'm i think it's because i'm exclusively breastfeeding with eva i didn't get my period i think 10 months or so or 12 months i think she was yeah no so around 10 months when i got my period for the first time with eva because i was breastfeeding heavily with cora i got it at three months or so yeah and then with um this baby so far she's six weeks but i've not gotten my period i'm not expecting it anytime soon i'm praying it doesn't come but yeah getting an iud inserted saves you a lot of stress a lot of pressure a lot of thoughts ah am i pregnant i'm not i'm not pregnant you know chatting your your period i don't i don't have time for that like i i have so much to deal with i don't have time to be chatting period and be checking no oh, am i safe am i not safe so that's why i got the iod inserted and and i'm happy i've gotten that part over with so yeah that is what i just wanted to quickly talk to you guys about in case anybody's wondering if you know i i got any form of birth control you know what it is yeah i've told you guys what it is and and why i did it um but there are different methods you can even start taking the pills if you're not yet sure you can be taking the pills or they can give you the one they start in your hand but me i just didn't want to go for all that i went straight for the iud i just call it a day in recent times i've been seeing a lot of talk about the dangers of iud and I'm just like seeing eh, last last every there's nothing that's not dangerous in this life there's nothing that does not have side effects in this life okay we'll just you know hope for the best and just believe in god and just pray because there's nothing that does not have side effects so i'd rather my side effects be cramps or periods than a whole baby <laughs> i'd rather have i'd rather have it than have a whole new baby as side effect so uh, <laughs> yeah that's why i went for it anyway so yeah i'm actually soon be here i'm feeling a little bit headache but i have to finish everything i have to do today because i have put everything for for today like all the errands i have to run i always pack them to you till i can't till i don't have a choice so today i don't have a choice but to go and do all these things that i want to do so yeah or oh, actually i have a choice but i didn't have a choice for the six weeks appointment so i decided to do everything today yeah we're not eating now do you know cora and eva we're not eating now, okay? When we get to the shop, we'll eat, okay? Eh? I might actually keep the food under this wait, place. Wait, wait, where we go to which shop? Where we're going to buy a table and chair. Okay, I'm proud. Actually, everyone, I saw Pleasure Park and, and I called my daddy and he said when he comes back, we will now go to Pleasure Park yeah hi guys how you all doing <laughs> anyway guys yeah this is the next day yesterday i wasn't able to do most of the stuff that i wanted to do gra in port Harcourt right now is a mess like you can pass this road today tomorrow you come and they're constructing one big thing on the road you just see cars everywhere they block the road they're doing road construction it's a good thing yeah when they fix the road it's actually nice and you know enjoyable but while they are fixing it actually if you need something urgently it's actually very very annoying but when we go do sha i'll take that over bad road anytime yeah so anyways i was able to do most of the stuff i wanted to do yesterday we just came back and i started doing more meetings up and down up and down i forgot that i was actually vlogging anyway i say anyway a lot you guys i'm sorry i'm sorry i say yeah i say anyway i say okay a lot i don't even understand anyway <laughs> so 
I just finished filming a video nursery review. I'm actually in my baby's nursery right now. Yeah, so it just occurred to me that some of you might want to see what my tummy looks like six weeks after giving birth. Today is the 24th, so this is exactly six weeks on the dots since I gave birth, or six weeks and one day. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know mass. So yeah, this is me six weeks postpartum, and I am absolutely loving myself, okay? <laughs> You guys, I'm absolutely loving myself. I love how I look. Yes, I am not like that. You guys, I'm not a slim person, no. Like some people actually think that I'm a slim person. I am not a slim person, no. I weigh a hundred and as in I first weigh hundred. I can't add and join now, okay? <laughs> I can't add and join now. So I am not a slim person by any you know definition, but yeah, I love the way I look pending when i lose the weight and get my body back okay you know what you guys at this point i don't even know what my body is we always talk about getting your body back getting your body back which body am i trying to get back is it the one before i had eva or before i had cora or before i got married or before i entered university which body exactly am i trying to get back okay so anyway i'm just trying to be my best self okay that's it i won't get anybody back i'm just trying to be my best self um yeah so my body postpartum my tummy especially you guys i'm not i'm not one of those people that can show you their bare tummies i'm not that uh, i don't know i'm not that i'm not that free i try to be free but i'm not that free so i cannot show you my bare tummy but i can show you the silhouettes okay and describe the tummy to you i hope that's okay so um six weeks after i still have my lia negra it's still showing it's fading a bit lia negra is that black you know line that comes on your tummy while you're pregnant i still have mine i still have a lot of blackness on my my tummy is black my tummy is very very black like and please if you're that person that to take offense at me saying that my tummy is black or feeling somehow my tummy is black and you take offense because you feel like it has something to do with colorism or to do with you not be, be accepting yourself or whatever you are trying to say i'm sorry in advance but my tummy is black okay yeah so my tummy is really really black i'm just for now what i am doing is i keep scrubbing my body i just have this um you know that gloves that you buy that you can use and scrub the gloves are kind of rough a bit yeah so i use them to have my bath some not all the time well, most times i use a normal sponge normal nigerian sponge but on days that I want to scrub really hard, I use those gloves. I actually bought an actual body scrub. I've never used it. So why did I buy it? And it wasn't cheap. Anyway, I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. I will use it. Don't worry. But yeah, right now, the only thing I can do to remove blackness from my neck and from my tummy and from my armpits, in fact, a lot of places, my thighs, the only thing I'm doing to try and combat that blackness is just to you know scrub my body and then moisturize afterwards i'm not using any fading cream i'm not using any bleaching cream i'm not using any hydroquinone cream or any lightning cream i am just scrubbing it and moisturizing it with normal body cream okay yeah normal moisturizing body cream um yeah i think i'm derailed i'm talking about my tummy and hair so my tummy also has stretch marks i got extra stretch marks from this baby but the funny thing is that my sides here where i used to have stretch marks from my previous two pregnancies with these babies they completely disappeared like not completely i still know that i had stretch marks there they are not gone completely but it's not as noticeable or as visible as they used to be which is surprising because i was thinking i'll even get more in pregnancy so on my sides here i don't really have but my sides i mean here let me move back here yeah my sides my what they call it love handle or whatever i used to have stretch marks there but they are not visible anymore the only visible stretch marks i have are on my tummy so below my belly button here down i have stretch marks okay uh on my thighs i didn't really get new stretch marks on my arms i got stretch marks here um uh, yeah very annoying but uh, who cares okay who cares um yeah so that's about stretch marks what else my tummy yeah my tummy is let me show you guys the silhouette of my tummy so this is my tummy six weeks after i am not holding it in i am not pressing the tummy this is what it looks like six weeks after this is if i try to suck belly mm. <laughs> if i try to suck belly this is what it looks like but without sucking belly this is what it looks like so yeah before 
I used to be able to suck in my tummy and it would go in even though I had you know a tummy I used to be able to suck it in and it would go in but right now when I suck it in it doesn't even go in at all but again it's still six weeks it's still too early for me to start judging I give myself time I'm not one of those women that used to pressure themselves into I need to snap back like I don't care who am I snapping back for? So I'm fitting into my old dresses. Um, yeah, the tummy shows, but uh, like I said, who cares? I'm not really doing much for my tummy right now. Although now that, now that I'm six weeks, I might start using my belly band because I got a belly band. I'll start using my belly band, which is basically to help with my muscles there so that I can engage my core because like I said I, I can't engage my core as well as I used to I don't know whether it's pregnancy I don't know if I have this di diastasis recti or whatever I don't know if I have it but I can't really engage my core the way I used to so I would need to use that band to just help me out with that but like I said I am not putting pressure on myself I am not drinking any special thing because I am breastfeeding as well so I'm not putting any special thing i am not drinking any special thing i am not eating it i'm just living my life normally because the pressure of three children is a lot i don't want to add extra pressure to it before i break down or before i get depressed okay so yeah okay but even at that even as my tummy is still big can't i compete in a pageant like this i don't i look like don't i if you see me on the road don't you stop and be like baby girl <laughs> Can I have your number? Eh? If you see me on the road, won't you stop, stop and say, Baby girl, I, I need your number. You will say it, okay? So, I'm not putting pressure on myself at all. I love the way I am. I like myself. I like my body. Eh, I'm just, I don't know why I'm even saying this repeatedly. Yeah, but it's just the truth. I'm excited. Sorry that I couldn't show you guys my bed tummy. Like I said, I'm not that free with you guys yet, okay? You guys need to, you need to drop some money <laughs> I need to pay my bride price first before I show you my tummy, okay? <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, let me just end this video here. I don't know, I'm just feeling myself so much. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share my videos, you know, watch my other videos. You guys, please, okay? Tell your friend to tell your friend. We're going to be hitting 25k really soon. So please, you guys should just, you know, subscribe if you haven't already. And bye, guys.